Hi everybody and welcome to my new office slash studio. And in today's video I will show you how to upload your Docker images to Docker Hub. Docker Hub is integrated into Docker and makes it possible to share your Docker images with your friends or the community. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Johannes Frey, but you can simply call me Joe. And I've been working as a software engineer for more than 15 years now. I am self-employed, I run my own company that does data science and DevOps, because at some point you also want to deploy your awesome machine learning models into production. In this tutorial, I will be assuming that you already created your super awesome Docker image that will bring peace and prosperity to the world. We will call this Docker image in this tutorial, Hello World. The first thing that you will need to follow this tutorial is an account at Docker Hub. So go ahead and register a free one at Docker Hub. And just to make it clear, I'm not affiliated in any way with Docker Hub. I just think it's an awesome way to share your Docker images. Now, with that out of the way, the next thing would be to use the Docker CLI to log in into your newly created Docker Hub account. You can use the command docker login to do that. The next thing would be to tag your image. Well, actually, you can also do it before logging into Docker Hub, but I mean, we will just do it now. To tag an image, you can use the docker CLI command docker tag with two arguments. The first one is the source tag and the second one is the target. So in our scenario, we will type docker images to list all the available images and then select the correct one. The structure of the naming convention looks like this. The first part is your username that you registered on Docker Hub and is used as the repository name. The next part is the name of the image and the last part after the colon is the version or tag. You can put whatever you want as the version like test or release candidate or a version scheme like the one I'm using in this tutorial. There is also one tag with a slightly special behavior and this one is called latest. When you do not specify a tag, then Docker uses this tag latest as the default. Just to make this more clear. So when I just run Docker pool with the image name, but without the tag, then you can see that it falls back to the latest default tag. With that in mind, it's always a good idea to push your Docker images with a specific tag and the latest tag as well. This way, the latest tag can act as some kind of pointer to the latest available uh, Docker image, but you also have a history of all the other Docker images that you pushed to Docker Hub. So in case of a rollback scenario where you need to go back and grab an older image to deploy it, then you have the history and can select a specific version that you can use in this case. So let's also add the latest tag. The last and final part would be to use the docker push CLI command to actually push your Docker images to Docker Hub. Now, when we have a look at Docker Hub, we see that we have two tags pushed to our repository. Both share the same digest, which means that those two tags reference the same Docker image. If we would now change something and do the same steps with a new version of the image, we would see that the tag 001 is still present, but the latest now points to the image with the tag 002. And that wraps it up for today's video about how to upload your Docker images to Docker Hub and share it with your friends, colleagues, or the community. I hope you liked the video and you have learned something. If so, it would be super awesome if you could go crazy on the subscribe uh, button and the bell icon and all the other buttons that you can uh, find because that would really help my channel grow and that would tell YouTube that you actually got something out of the content that I produce. So would be really appreciated and see you in the next video.